don't know where we will end. But if there's a delay, and you are being delayed, 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 and things are tough, you seek what, what? God might be saying something. God might be saying something. You're, you're not supposed to look at that delay. Look at where God is taking you. Once, look at, once you look at delay, you start to complain. And you, are, you will extend that delay. Do you know you can extend delay? So you extend delay. Maybe it will start small. You complain. Just like that. But look here. The bigger the delay, the bigger the blessing. So, if you want to see what happened to Moses, what happened to Moses? Look at the training of many years. Look at the anointing upon the men of God. Moses. Look at the training of many years. Look at this man called Joshua. Who can wait for his father in the Lord? When he climbed the mountain, he just waited there. He just waited there. And uh, he waited where people can see him. And there are people who are turning that. They are just thinking, ah, he's waiting for someone. Do you know the day where they, they make a calf to worship it? Joshua was there. He could not say, hey. He was just standing. He was waiting for that one. He was between there. He could just wait. I will hear from that one, but I've got power. I've, I can't go down there. I have to wait for that one to tell me. And God chose him to take over those words because of delay. Sometimes when you are delayed, delay, delay. God sees your heart. Listen, what is important here is your heart. It's not what is happening around you. God can train you to wait. When you are waiting, you are fortified. You are established. At the end of the day, when you, you are released, no one can stop you. Yeah. Have you ever found you have been waiting for something which is not happening? You are waiting for me to come and prophesy that you are called. Or you are called for this. And God is saying, delay me. Say, no, no, don't say it now. You know, God is saying, if you say it now, this man won't see heaven. Can you see now, you, are, you have got all the gifts, but you are going to hell. You are manipulated. But if you wait for the right time, even when you move, you do like this. Even if you have got a small church, you you'll be blessed to extend that. You are even surprised. Look here, I'm in Winnie Mandela, but everybody's talking about charis. I'm here in Winnie Mandela here. Here. Look at look look down here here, but everybody is talking about charis there. Others say, is he a man of God? Others say, is he a man of God? Others say, he's a man of God. But they are talking. This year, people will talk about your name. Yeah. I said, people will talk about you. You have been waiting. He's about to advertise you. He's about to raise you. He's about to lift you. Your season has come. I said, your season has come. I said, your season has come. Say my time has come. Say my time has come. Can you speak in a radical way? My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Carry, carry on speaking the Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In Jesus' name. When this thing happened, I wanted to show my children that we must not cry to be. Let's allow God to make us to be. I call all of them who are called. And then we were there 
I say, let's prophesy this person. I just say financial, financial, financial. Another one just says financial. Everybody have got financial, pro even the president. Even the what? The president. I just hear a prophecy of financial. Another one just say, uh, because the time has not yet come. When the time has not yet come, you know, you want to do things by your mind. You just want to do things by your mind. Or you go to Facebook. You check people, okay, this one stays where. Or you speak with people here. When you come here, you prophesy them. Because you want to destroy delay. And you don't know you are destroying what God has given you. But if you wait, you become a Christian first. You become what? A Christian first. And the grace of our Father God will fall upon you. Remember, it's him who gave all to be for the edification of the church. He decides. So if now we decide, he's the one who sits on the circumference of himself. And the 24 oldest are there. And angels all around here. And he sit and say, I'm seeing cherries. There's this boy, there's this girl. There's that one. Now, <laughs> let's give that one this. They decide. He decides. And when he takes decision, there's no return. We must not take our own decision. We are insulting him. Remember, he sits there. You can't stand in front of him. Oh. You can't stand in front of him. Oh. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I know you can't stand in front of the living God. You can't even see his face. If you see his face, you are finished. Even the power in the presence of him is so mighty. He's so mighty that, you know, you need to fear him. The moment you enter his presence, whether you are so strong or what, you realize that he's the one who created your eye, your heart. He put everything and put it together and make you in the spirit. So now, wait for him. Wait for him. One day I was taken to him. When I reached there, where I was standing, I was told that, can you look around? When I looked there, I saw the head. I saw at the back. I saw at the back. You know what? I, when I was still want to touch the head, I heard the sound of the angels at the back. And the, the, you know, making a strange noise that even irritated like it's entering my bones. When I was still surprised, the power that was there put me in front of him and I lie down there. Lie down there by the head, like this. There. And that is why you see me. I don't want to play by this living God. I don't want, he is so everything. Here, we are just standing on his hand like this. He can just do like this, you disappear. So let's fear him. If he is not saying we are this, we must not be that. And he can bless you. If we seek him in truth, you know, what makes you to be rejoiced is your salvation of your soul. It's not money. It's not a success in the world. It's not curse. It's your soul that one day you'll go back where you come from. So don't look around. Don't look at anything. Devil is manipulating you, knowing that if you get this, you'll be like that. And these things, you will leave them behind. What you need to do now, you forget these things that people are getting. If you seek him, all shall follow you. Remember the scripture. It was Jesus who said, all shall follow you. So, whatever you gather, whatever, one day you'll be inside a coffin. Whatever you gather, you gather this, you gather this, you gather this. One day you'll be inside the coffin. People will carry you like this. Carry you like this. And they say, I'm a good, good, I'm you. Others who are following, they say, but what about his car? What about his wife? 
What about his girlfriend? What about? Others are crying behind me. He, he, he was my boyfriend, but I can't tell anybody. He used to give me 50,000. He used to give me 40,000. And yourself, you are there where you work for. Can we just fear God? Tell me, but can we just fear God? I see God putting you in a place whereby, like of Joseph. Can you see what happened to Joseph? Look where Joseph, his brothers, rejected him. Sold, sold him. Like the family say, we don't care about you. And no one take care of you. And you find that you reach a level where the Ishmaelites take you. It's like, you know, you are a slave. Sold to, uh, to this man who make you like waking there for a... I mean, the delay, the delay, delay, delay that makes that man to be on top. After this service, whatever comes to you must make people to praise your God. If truly we will cry for the things of the world, these things will be like a joke. If truly. But I see you people seeking God, seeking God, seeking God at the end. I promise you, you will surprise many. I say you will surprise many. You can even overtake those who you think they are in front of you. I say you are overtaking them. In the name of Jesus. I say you're overtaking them. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>